can stack. Now this again, uh, this problem has been taken from uh, a website called New Zealand Maths, and this is the address. Uh, you can search, uh, you can go to this website, there's plenty of examples, uh, very neat examples of problem solving. So let's read this question. Okay, what does it say? The local the local supermarket creates a display of cans in the shape of a triangle. The top four rows are shown below. So this is the shape of a triangle. There are four rows. If the stack has 10 rows, how many cans will be on display? Next question. What if the display was 21 rows high? And the third question. Find the rule for finding the number of cans for any number of rows. So let's start with the first question. So if there are 10 rows, now this has, for this let us do first before going to this, this will be one, the total number of cans would be one plus two plus three plus four. Now this, of course you can do without any formula. So this is seven, there are 10 cans here. Now for this question, for 10 rows, the total number of cans would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. Okay. Now uh, you can add them. There's nothing wrong there. But let us find, let us see whether we can find, make up a formula. So this I'm going to call, say this is S10. S stands for the sum. Or the sum of the first 10 numbers, countable numbers. So, well, can I write this S10 in a reverse order like 10 plus 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 10 plus 9? Oh, yes, 10. <laughs> I'm doing my mistakes. After 7, you don't have 4. After 7, you have 6 plus 5, plus 4, plus 3, plus 2, plus 1. Okay, now what if I'm adding this two together? Okay, the first row and the second row. This is, this means this is S10 plus S10, which is, this is 1 plus 10, which is 11, plus 11, plus 11, plus how many times? You can write 10 times, this is same as adding 11 10 times, 10 times. Okay, now this means this is 2 times S10 is, when adding 11 10 times is same as uh, 10 times 11. Okay, and if you divide both sides, if, if you want to get rid of this 2, I'm dividing this side by 2, I will divide this side by 2. So S10 is 110 divided by 2, which is 55. I want you to look at a relation between 10 and 11. 10 is the total number of rows. Okay. So that's the first answer. So the first answer for the first question, you need 55 cans. Okay. Let us look at the next question. If What if the display has 21 rows. Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to write from 1 to 21. So S21 would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus I'll write 19 plus 20 plus 21. Again, S21 I can write as 21 plus 20 plus 19 in the reverse order, plus dot dot dot, plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. I want you to see a pattern here that I'm trying to develop. So this is S21 plus S21 is equal to, this is 22 plus 22 plus 22 plus, this is again how many? This is again 22 plus 22 plus 22. 22. Okay. 
So we can again write this as 2 times S21, S21 is, there are how many lots of 22? There are 21 lots of 22, so that's 21 times 22. Can you see a relation between 21 and 22? 21 lots of 22. Here you had, let us go back, you had, here we had 10 lots of 11. Here we have 21 lots of 22. So again, you have to divide both sides by 2. If you divide this side by 2, you divide this side by 2. So S21 is 21 times 22 divided by 2 which is same as 21 times 22 I'm writing as 2 times 11 over 2. So this 2 and 2 gets cancelled which is 21 times 11 which is 21 times 10 plus 21 times 1 which is 210 plus 21 which is 200 31 okay so when there are 21 cans sorry 21 rows you need 231 cans okay so can you see a pattern so yeah let's write the answer yeah yeah you need 231 cans so I hope you can see the pattern so when you got n number of cans okay if suppose there are n rows if there are n rows Sn would be n times the next number, which is n plus 1 divided by 2. n times n plus 1. That is the number of rows, number of rows times the next number. So if there are n rows, you multiply it by the next number, which is n plus 1, and that you divide by 2. So this is the general formula of adding from 1 to any number.